Chitokoloki Mission Hospital in Zambezi District has installed enough solar energy which will soon be connected to nearby schools and villages. Hospital Administrator Hannah Gordon says the institution's investment in solar panels over the past seven years has now reached 170 kilovolts. Here's a report. The road is untarred. It is somehow impassable in the rain season. Patients and visitors have to walk through the water to make the 24 kilometers journey from the Mtanda Chavuma Road to Chitokoloki Mission Hospital. The mission is one of the most important health facilities in the country. It was founded by missionaries in 1914 and 104 years later, missionaries from the Christian missions in many lands, CMML, still run the hospital. Today, Chitokoloki Mission Hospital stands out as the only health center in Zambia which solely runs on solar energy. The hospital, which has a large compound, is powered by over 600 solar panels which produce about 170 kilovolts of power. This energy powers the hospital, 52 staff houses, a workshop and various other auxiliary facilities. Hannah Gordon is the hospital administrator and now explains how the solar project started. Yeah, it started off years ago when solar was quite more expensive. So we started small and then we've been adding and over the years the cost of solar has been going down with panels, equipment, as well as each panel. Originally it was 100 watts was a big panel. Now we're using 300 watt panels and we have three large banks that can do the entire mission. In this part of Zambia, the sun is readily available throughout the year. At the hospital, these solar panels trap the sun and later, the energy is transmitted to these batteries where electricity is produced. From here, the energy is transmitted into cables to various parts of the hospital. Authorities here say solar energy enables surgeons to conduct delicate operations without the fear of power cuts. We're very grateful because we have excellent power in that it's not only con constant, never goes out, but it's very stable. We don't have fluctuations in power. With, the power. with medical equipment, it's very sensitive to power fluctuations. So here we're very thankful that the power is very even and constant and we have never lost a piece of equipment. Yeah, we have a digital x-ray system and our doctor of radiography is actually in Australia, but he has 24-hour access via the internet via a satellite that he can log on to our server here and every day he reads the x-rays and reports immediately on the findings and some of these things makes us very blessed. Okay. We thank the Lord for it. However, very few Zambians consider investing in sustainable energy sources such as solar. Recently, Parliament passed the Grid Code Act, a law which spells out how the Zambians must harness the country's energy potential. It the onus is upon each and every Zambian to take it upon themselves to go the solar way. Even your house, my house, everybody should do that so that we help Zesco. Because otherwise if we leave it upon Zesco alone to go solar and say no, Zesco should build uh, solar farms and what of you, what will happen is that it will take long. But if we have the capacity, let us make farms and then that grid, that, uh, that power which is coming through the grid, can be taken to the industries and the mines and there will be a lot of development in the country. Despite all this good service, Chitokoroki Mission Hospital still has challenges. The access road is one of the biggest challenges here. Our weakest link is the road. Is the road. Here, when people travel in that road, they, they can't imagine that there's a place this big mm -hmm. here. 250 bed hospital with many surgical services. 250 bed space. And this is the road that we come on. Road Development Agency Board Chairman Samuel Mukupa recently drove through the Chitokoloki Road and saw for himself the need for it to be tarred. But a facility of this nature requires an all weather road. The access road must be looked at. And in the immediate, I think, interventions must come. Because like you have rightly seen and on overhead, that this particular institution is not only saving people in Zambia, actually its catchment area is the entire country. Thanks to our missionaries and most of our people here, 
get services without a single mwe, single kwacha coming into the coffers of our of our <clears throat> colleagues. Chitokoroki Mission Hospital caters for thousands of patients on an annual basis. Most of its patients come here for surgery from within Zambia and the neighboring Angola and the Democratic Republic of Congo. All services here are for free. With the success of powering this institution on solar for the past seven years, authorities here are now in talks with Zesco to find ways of powering the nearby Chitokoroki Primary School and villages. This is likely to be done as soon as the power utility agrees to erect power lines. Paul Shalala, ZNBC News in Zambezi District, Northwestern Province. President Edgar Lungu has donated